Now, uh, listen, you guys, Joe Biden is out there giving Nicki Minaj her flowers. And at the same time, there is a rumored collaboration between Nicki Minaj and Eminem for his new album. And the Transformer fans are out there basically are going against her. Who is this YouTuber that is out there eating up Bongo 2? Now, these are some of the things that we are going to be talking about in this video. Hello, tea lovers, and welcome to the tea plug. I trust you guys are doing well and i trust you are doing great personally i am doing great you guys i am doing extremely amazing and uh without further ado let us dive straight into today's team now first of all let us talk about the pink friday to tour now regardless of these other publications trying to come out here yeah, and you know amplify all these things oh my god Nicki minaj was late and things like that one thing cannot be denied it is the fact that while well, Pink Friday 2 is the most captivating, highest grossing, and most successful female rap tour of all time, okay? Now, listen, you guys, Joe Budden took to his podcast to basically uh, talk about how, you know, Nicki Minaj, even when it comes to the arrangement of everything and how the sitting arrangement is very well thought, is very, you know, um, in, is very intentional, you know, she's just not randomly going in a room and saying, oh my God, I'm going to do a tour, this is rushed. So he's out there giving her flowers of saying, that you know what you have to think down everything when it comes to touring even when it comes to how the seat how the seating arrangements are going to be like you know um i'm just gonna insert what joe Biden had to say and i will comment after that they're gonna get shots a certain way and it's Nikki gonna look like you every out. aspect of what we're talking about on her tour directly next to the stage are reserved for gag city super my fans. number super one fans. super fan mm -hmm. so when that camera pan you're going to see what it looked like. And fucking uh, Nikki's uh, that, that DJ, that, that DJ in between sets had that building absolutely on fire. Mm. Same and Chris Brown shit. Yeah. Same and Chris Brown shit. They're going to get shots a certain way. Well, there you heard what the men had to say. And honestly, I feel like this is just a result of doing things according to your own pace and properly planning for things, okay? Because if you're going to do things rushed, of course, you will not have the time to get down even to the seemingly less important things like, you know, seating arrangements and things like that. So I love that she really did pour so much thought and consideration in everything that pertains to to her tour okay that being said still speaking about Nicki Minaj it seems like well people are alleging that well she is going to be on Eminem's um, album that is coming out now for those of you who do not know Eminem is going to be releasing another album um, and it's going to be called The Passing Away of Slim um, shady and uh, you know Nicki Minaj yesterday on station head was playing majesty and uh, so people were like oh my god does it mean that well she's hinting that she is on the album um, you know the passing away of Slim Shady and stuff like that now personally I mean I would never get tired of, an, an, of a Nicki Minaj and M Eminem collaboration I heard you you know some of you were like oh we're tired or they've done it before we want something new and stuff like that but I personally I don't think i would ever get tired of hearing the two of them on a song together because i feel like the penmanship is there at uh, the you know being animated is there you know the alter egos are there so i feel like it will be hit okay especially now that a lot of people um who recently just you know got you know just caught on to female rap or just caught on to rap in general really don't know how artistic these people can be there are people who genuinely out there do not know Roman, do you know what I'm saying? Like their introduction to female rap it was way after that era. And, you know, some of them may not even be able to understand why when we say that Nicki Minaj is incomparable, this is what we're talking about. So I would be very happy if Roman were to come out and Slim Shady were to come out. And honestly speaking, that would be so great um, in my own opinion. But hey, let me know in the comment section. Are you like the other people tired of the two of them collaborating or are you like me? 
and saying bring it on the next thing that we're going to be talking about you guys rihanna it seems like rihanna is out there making history and the star power that this girl has literally has to be studied okay because i mean you can't tell me that after she took that massive hiatus she's out there still breaking records okay so it is being reported that don't stop the music by by rihanna has surpassed 1 billion streams on spotify and that is a 16th song to achieve this and somewhere somehow i think i saw a report that said that well that makes her a tie with drake when it comes to you know artists with the most songs uh that have surpassed that billion streams mark on spotify okay so i just want to say congratulations to rihanna now we cannot wait for your comeback like do you guys think this guy is ever this girl is ever going to come back or do you think that well we'll still keep waiting and waiting until we grow old let me know in the comment section speaking about pop r&b and all things like that let us talk about Katy Perry. Now, you guys do know that, well, her album is going to be coming very soon. Now, it is actually being reported that, well, um, the album has reached over 10,000 pre-orders in its first day of availability. Now, I don't know if this is a good number or not, but at least 10K, that's something, you guys, honestly, that is something, given the other numbers that, you know, people are doing in pre-sales, in, in, in pure sales, 10K for a pre, um, for a pre-order, that's not bad, okay, um, in my own opinion, but you do know that, well, people's standards are different, and some people are looking at it like, it's not that great, but, um, I personally will be supporting Katy Perry, um, I feel like she's talented, and I'm a little bit worried but um, if I'm going to be honest, with some of the previews that we've been seeing from the album, I am a little bit worried. I will say that. Uh, but hopefully her fans will be able um, you know, to carry her on this album. All right. Uh, the covers are already out. And uh, what do I think about the covers? I love them and they're a little, they're, they're quite um, Katy Perry-ish. If you know anything about Katy Perry, um, you know, her album covers, her videos, they've always been this animated sort of. Um, so I, I love them. I really do love them. But hey, let me know in the comment section what you think about that. There's also a track list that is circulating and people are saying that is not official. But well, um, it has 15 tracks and yeah. I can't wait to see what they what's what's there. There is no Nicki Minaj feature for those of you that kept saying, um, you know, Nicki is going to be on the album we, on this track list that I'm holding. Nicki is not going to be there. The rappers that are there, there's Twenty One Savage, there's um. Oh, Dolce is there, you guys. Oh, my God. That would be absolutely uh, nice. I would definitely check that one out, um, you know, the artificial one with, um, you know, with Dolce. So, yeah, let me know in the comment section, you guys, what you think about Katy Perry's comeback. Are you guys ready? Are you going to be supporting? Now, the next thing that we are going to talk about... The Transformer and fans. The last time that I spoke about the Transformer, I was telling you about how much of a homophobe she was becoming and how she was out there cussing out her fans and calling them out of their names and coming for them because of their sexual orientation. I spoke about that in my previous video. It seems like the, the fans have had enough, okay? They are out there calling her out saying that, you know what, you can't be talking to us each time somebody disagrees with you. You can't be doing this. And each time we try and bring you to book, you know, we're labeled. Uh, you know haters or f fake body gang somebody wrote an entire um, sort of statement and said cardi you constantly drag your fans and disrespect them in so many awful ways listen here come twinkie we are tired of your bs you steady getting pregnant to delay that album and tour and you already look retarded for say for staying with a cheating behind husband who clearly doesn't like you don't lash out on your fans because you are not happy in your personal life Keep up this BSB and that album will flop while, we, while you constantly let offset your, your, and you be. I, I couldn't even read all of that. Uh, another person said, like, who gets mad at fans saying, mother, this be weird AF, okay? And yeah, it's a lot of them actually coming for her and things like that. And personally, I do feel like she goes overboard when it comes to these rants because at the end of the day, these fans are still people, you know? 
you are the artist but well it doesn't make it doesn't mean that you you talk to them anyhow you still need to give them basic respect the boy that um you know she directly cast out also blocked her and things like that um and i mean i understand the frustrations of these um you know fans but at the same time i don't know about you know them coming for her husband and you know her staying with her husband i don't know i feel like that's going a little bit far but um yeah for a fan you know for a fan i feel like they went a little bit far but i mean this is the environment that they have are cultivated for each other you know she goes out there and says all these nasty things they also come back and reciprocate the same energy so i mean if they love it we like it okay if they like it i mean we love it okay so yeah let me know in the comment section do you think that by the time the album comes out she still is going to have fans or do you think that they will probably uh, move away from her now i in as far as them supporting an album i do feel like she deep down knows that well her success is not attributable to people's support it's not a fan base that gave her that you know success quote unquote okay because she knows it's payola that's why she gets to treat them like that now other female rappers cannot do the same do you see the way that Nicki minaj is protective when it comes to her bubs and how respectful she is with them if they are cussing each other trust me it's just light playful playful stuff okay it's nothing major like this it's because she knows genuinely that you know what my success is organic my success is um because of these people you know the reason why i was able to defeat um, the industry machine is because people genuinely loved me and the people that genuinely love me are none other than the babs okay so i feel like that's why she will continuously respect the babs and even if sometimes they go out of their way also acting crazy you know she in, instead of calling them all these nasty names you will see her saying oh manager babs all this this that's her trying to accommodate for everybody's personality so that's the difference there like why would you expect the transformer to respect you when she knows that well her success is majorly because of payola she of course she wouldn't okay the next thing that we are going to talk about you guys we're going to talk about Daphne joy okay now it seems like things are looking ugly for her because you guys do know that well at some point she came out and made very bold allegations towards 50 um you know sa allegations um and it seems like 50 was like listen i'm taking you to court okay so the men decided to uh, file a defamation lawsuit against Daphne joy and uh it seems like she has now deleted the social media posts okay now if there's one thing about 50 cent is he doesn't play okay he does not play if you're coming to him and you don't have any um you know evidence and things like that he will sue you ask that girl you know the one girl that he still throws up to now and um, what's her name is it tiara <laughs> that one okay so i hope all is well with her um let me know what you think about this entire situation now i do not know if all her accusations were truly fake were truly false um, but I do hope that she has the evidence to back that up. And sometimes the law is really not nice, um, you know, because maybe she did indeed go through those things. Okay. But if she doesn't have evidence, it's said that she will not be able to do anything about it. I hope it's not true. Okay. I, I just hope it's not true. All these things that she said, because it would suck for her to go through all those things and then to get sued still in the end that's how annoying the law can be sometimes okay now the next thing that we are going to talk about you guys bongo 2 now there's somebody out there who decided to do a review of bongo 2's album and i was like if i if i had done it you guys would be like oh my god you are not supportive when the album came out i told you um the first time that i had the snippets i told you that none of the snippets were exciting enough for me to go and check it out i will say however that song that she has with uh the mamushi whatever that one watashi was wa flop or whatever the song is called that is a catchy song and i do see a lot of people doing a lot of tiktoks around that song but that's as far as it goes when it comes to all her you know album tracks so i do see her latching on to that song um a lot and possibly making a video a music video because that's the one song that's a little catchy from there everything else it's 
repetitive everything else it's monotonous and i've said it when the album came out and some of you girl, guys really were not you know receptive of that fact but it seems like there's somebody else zach did an entire review on that you know basically talking about why the album sold only 64k now i don't agree with a lot of his opinions he <laughs> said not i really don't okay i don't agree with a lot of his opinions but like on this one i want you to hear for yourself and I want you to also hear that other time when I told you that, well, there is no way that Bongo, they can inflate Bongo 2's numbers to do better than Doja Kid's numbers. It doesn't make any sense because when it comes to people actually listening or the songs being catchy, Doja Kid's songs are way more catchy than Bongo 2. So I really didn't think that they would be able to inflate her, her numbers to do better than Doja Cat's numbers. That would just have been absurd, okay? Even now when you look at it, Doja Cat debuted with 670K and she's here with 64K. That, even that does not make sense when you look at it. Do you get what I'm saying? It doesn't make any sense because um, when it comes to popularity and everything, Scarlett really was way better um, than this that the Pongo 2 has done. Okay, so I will just insert a snippet of Zeke talking about it. And you guys let me know if you think that he is, um, you know, on point or if you think that is just being a disliker, as you guys normally like to call people who disagree with you when it comes to Bongo 2. Now, that being said, thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for making it this far. YouTube is on that type of time again where they don't give you notifications if I post and things like that. So please, if you happen to not see any of my notifications, just feel free to click on the page and refresh the page. And I promise you, you'll probably see a new video that YouTube has not notified you of. So that being said, thank you for watching and um, until my next one, see you. Give you totally different. Wow. She's going to give you totally different. Wow, yeah. She's going to give you moments. Megan's going to. He want to. He want to. Ha. Huh, and who? My pussy. My pussy. Ooh, Jesus. 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 Like, girl. Do you not have nothing else to talk about? I don't know. I don't know. But here's the thing, right? Because I don't feel like there's no evolution, and I feel like that's the reason why. Based on my next point, the album only sold 64k. And you know, yes, Megan has three Grammys, but those three Grammys clearly have not equated to the numbers of sales that Nicki can do. Nicki's flop album, as we so called it, because I was one of the girls that said it flopped, <laughs> interesting enough, was what, 168? Queen sold 168, I believe? That's insane. <laughs> or 180, 186. I'm sorry, it was 186. Man, mind you, that was considered a flop for her. Yikes. So then we come to, to Megan selling 64K. And I know I can hear the hotties. Well, Zach, she's not the pivot. Zach, she's not the pivot. You need to give her her chance. No.